We have Coach Desco, Evan Malloy, Ben Williams, and Sergio Salcido. We're going to start with a quick opening statement from Coach, and then we'll take questions. You just raise your hand, and we'll call you guys for questions. Well, it's uh, obviously great to be planning a trip to Providence this week and uh, spending the week getting ready for uh, Maryland. I thought that uh, Albany was extremely well prepared and came out on fire tonight. Uh, we didn't expect the, uh, the face-off guy to do as well as he did, and I thought he was a big part of getting them the ball to that, you know, that potent offense. Uh, they created some transition. I think defensively they played very aggressively too and uh, did some things that we weren't didn't really expect. Uh, it was great that our guys came in at halftime and were able to turn it around and kind of reverse, uh, you know, reverse the halves and win some faceoffs in the second half. I think we took 13 shots in the in the third quarter, uh, to put the pressure back on him and on them. And I thought their you know, goalie played well in the first half, and we were able to get to him in the second half. John, could you kind of elaborate on what you saw from Albany's defense that maybe you didn't expect to see or wasn't anticipating? Well, they came up precious. They had some caused turnovers. Uh, you know, their defense on our attack, which which surprised me, uh, but they were able to put the ball on the ground a couple times and create transition. I thought they were, uh, as the game went on, I think they were having a lot of confidence in, in Reardon and, and kind of packed it in a little bit more. Uh, taking away the inside shots from us and forcing us to shoot from the outside and, and some flat angles. And uh, he was able to make those saves and get the ball back to them and even create some transition. And what do you think opened up for you guys in the third quarter where you exploded for 18 or so shots? Well, I, I thought that in the first half that when we did get the ball, we were very anxious to try to make something happen. And uh, there, we'd have one, two, three passes in our offense and dodge and go to the goal and, and you know, for a quick shot. He'd make the save or we'd miss it and they'd go the other way and, and have the ball. We played a lot of defense in the first half. And I just thought we were more patient uh, offensively in the second half. Got some transition and I think, uh, I don't know, the stats were with Ben in the second half. We won a lot more faceoffs in the second half. I think it turned out about 50-50 uh, for the game. Ben, Ben, you changed your head. Is that something that you normally do? And I mean, how did it you know, help you with your you know? Uh, yeah, the, the, one, the one I came out with just like, the first few face-offs wasn't bending high like it, so I had one ready to go and stuck with that one the rest of the game. So, I mean, yeah, it definitely, I mean, helped a little bit, but uh, yeah, I just think throughout the game, he you know, just kept kind of adapting to what, you know, he was doing. I thought our wings did a lot better job, you know, the second half. Uh, I just, you know, I thought we were clicking in the second half for our whole unit, so. Is, is that something you normally do? Have you done that in the past? Is this yeah, yeah, I've done, I've done that in plenty of games this year. You know, you have a head fold up, and all of a sudden it's, you know, it's not how you like it, and just change your backup. Sergio, how much better did he get to play to beat Maryland next week? Um, you know, they're a good team. You know, they play a little bit different lacrosse. I think we just got to, you know, like I said last week, kind of just focus on us. And I don't think we have to play better, per se. I just think, you know, we need to capitalize on our opportunities like we've been and, and you know, mature as the week goes on. Uh, Sergio, in the, in the second half, they uh, switched the long pull onto you, but then obviously the offense got so many shots in the third quarter. I mean, how did that maybe affect the, the midfielders opening up shots? Yeah, I mean, you know, playing with Mariano and Dejoe and, you know, all those other great guys like Dylan, you know, Jordan and Barbara on the field, you know, when they put a pull on me, it just kind of gives them more of a green light. You know, it doesn't really change anything we're doing specifically, I guess. Um, this isn't the first time I think that's happened. I think UNC did that after, like, the second quarter. So, um, you know, it just, it just gives the other guys an opportunity and, you know, you got to get them the looks and, you know, expect them to make plays. Sergio, in the first half, everything was in the perimeter. You weren't really getting too much close. In the second half, it was Euro Jordan, uh, you know, making some moves, creating things. It just looked like he started to take over and, and really sort of create, force the ball closer. Um, what happened along those lines? Oh, you know, we started to gain a little bit better understanding of how they play defense, you know, as the game went on and, you know, their tendencies. And, you know, you kind of read that when you're out there getting runs. and taking different dodges. So, you know, you just kind of, you know, keep that in your mind and, and, you know, know when to go and know when not to go. And, you know, I just needed to kind of settle in, I guess, a little bit. You know, I came out a little too anxious in the first half. And, you know, once, you know, you, you look at the scoreboard at halftime, you realize, you know, this is it. you got to do something here. And, you know, we all stepped up and made plays. Coach, you've been on the losing end of some of these comeback wins. Uh, how does it feel to finally be on the winning end? Feels great because uh, it means we have to play next week. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be, uh, these guys would be packing their bags and ready to go home. Uh, and it was, you know, that Army or Albany played well, so it was, it was to have a test like that and be able to come back against a goaltender who's playing well, defense is playing well, face-off guy winning face-offs, and uh, very opportunistic offensively.
Uh, you faced one of the best goalies in the country this week. You're going to face one of the best goalies in the country next week. Do you think this week's matchup helps prepare for next week? Uh, you know, I think that uh, the type of game that it was, uh, you know, having to really roll our sleeves up in the second half and get after it uh, will help us. And uh, got another left-handed goalie uh, next week who's, you know, was pretty good. And um, you can only hope that this experience that we had to work hard will, will pay off next week. Coach, you play 30 minutes of, you know, lacrosse like you probably would want to and get away with it against Maryland, or you have to play a full 60? Well, I think we have to play a full 60. Today, I, I think it was more in the first half about, you know, them getting some face-offs. We played a lot of defense in the first half, and a team that scores, scores goals like Albany, really to hold them to six in the first half when they – had the ball so much, and we gave him one or two of those, uh, you know, off the clearing situation. So uh, I, I didn't think our defense played poorly. John, what, what went into the decision, you know, moving Barber to the second line midfield and subbing in Faroli and, and Solomon? What kind of what was the, the the reasoning behind that? Well, Solomon's been playing well. He's a very capable Dodger at the attack end of the field. He's been doing well in practice, and to bump uh, Barber up, I think he saw Evans up in the midfield. Uh, just gives us uh, more depth in the midfield and, and some big threats. Uh, sometimes they get matched up against short sticks because they're in the midfield. And I think that uh, uh, they're very capable Dodgers and scorers, and it's going to force the defense to slide more. Sergio, was it frustrating at all for you guys in the first half, not getting a ton of offensive possessions, and then the ones you guys were, it was kind of hard to make good on them? Yeah, I mean, that's just, you know, the flow of the game sometimes. And, you know, I made some poor decisions personally early on, you know, in the, in the first half, taking early shots, you know, after our defense had been playing defense for a while. And, you know, that's just, a, you know, a maturity thing, and, you know, being smart and, you know, realizing the flow of the game. And, but, no, I mean, I wouldn't say it's frustrating. You know, that's lacrosse. It's the way it goes. You know you're going to get your opportunities. You might not get as many as you want, but, you know, you got to just capitalize on the ones, you know, the opportunities you do get. Did you guys decide on offense at halftime that you were going to change anything tactically or just kind of – Try to keep doing what you're doing and hope it works. Yeah, we didn't really change much. You know, we just kind of read into their tendencies and you know stuck to our brand of lacrosse and you know knew what we worked on all week. And I think we just started kind of using each other and you know finding each other out there and you know making the easy passes instead of the hard ones. And uh, you know obviously it you know, paid off in the end. I haven't been let you go without you know. Counselor, a question. Uh, it was 10-9. I can't remember who you made the save on late in the game, but uh, let it go the other way. You obviously had some huge saves in the second half. Just your thoughts about uh, you know, your bounce back performance in the second half. Yeah, well, uh, I think that they were kind of – they got some crazy goals uh, in that game, and uh, it was pretty frustrating for our defense. But, you know, we weren't really down any of that at all. Uh, we, were, we were playing well, and uh, we knew we were playing well. You know, in six-on-six, six, we were causing turnovers. Uh, the guys were giving up shots that I could save. I was seeing the ball well, so – you know, uh, the ball was bouncing their way a lot, and they were playing really hard. And when those two things are going, you're going to play a really good game. So uh, they are playing really well. And then, you know, we kind of just uh, bared down there. And uh, the defense was giving me shots that I could see. And worked out. We got the W. You know, you're down, you know, 0 for 5 in the first quarter on faceoffs. I mean, what were you maybe talking to the coaches on the sideline? What was kind of going through your head at that point? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, not much. I mean, just, I mean, just five faceoffs. I mean, just take one at a time. I mean, I, I don't look up. At, I, I don't like how we keep track of faceoffs on the scoreboard anyway, so I never even looked up. Um, so just one at a time, and we chipped away back at it. Evan and the defense played great, and Sergio on the offense scored some goals. So I think it was just everyone came out in the second half. Any, any adjustments or just, you know, just, you know, you kind of just? Uh, yeah, I mean, me and, me and Coach Donahue and the faceoff unit talked at halftime, but I'm just going to leave that with us. Thanks, guys. Get the Game of Thrones.